What's going on YouTube? Zero to Hero 77 here, and you know what? The Witcher 3 has arrived, and it's time for our first boss battle with Nithril, the Wild Hunt Warrior. I am fighting with Kira, the Sorceress. She is helping us in this adventure, and you know what? Pay attention, because she is going to be key to beating this guy. I probably died about 10, 15 times on him, and it wasn't until I discovered that, you know what? Every time she hits him, he gets staggered. You'll see I make use of all the attacks that she does to get an attack of mine. Also using the Agni, uh, Witcher, Sorcery, whatever you want to call that ability. Um, I get a little extra damage in there. So take a look. Follow how I fight and this fight will probably be in your favor. Because it makes a huge difference. Just take my word for it. Once he's had enough of getting his ass handed to him by the Witcher Geralt and Kira the Sorceress, he summons these wild hunt dogs. They're nothing too crazy, but as I've learned in this game, you can't get overconfident because you can die really quickly. So you want to employ the same tactics you used before. Go in there slowly, wait for your chance to attack, and make sure to use that fire because it makes a difference. It may only chip them away. But every time you set them on fire, their damage resistance goes down. Make use of that. As you may have noticed, when I got too close to Nithral, I got bounced back and it did quite a bit of damage. If I did that now, I would be dead. Uh, it does quite a bit, so make sure you don't get too close when he's in that stage. Now it goes right back to the beginning of the fight, where you are going to be relying on Kira's lightning and her telekinesis and all those abilities to phase him and then you get in there and get your one attack in. I would suggest using your strong attack, your heavy attack, because it's going to do the most damage and it'll give you the quickest chance to get out of there. It was at this point I realized, shit, I've been fighting for a few minutes now. If I can hit one more time, I'm going to die. So this is when I decided to switch to my Quen ability, which will give you the ability to use a shield, which will protect yourself from any incoming damage. It'll only block that once, but it'll block, I believe your base one will block up to 210 damage. Very helpful, especially in this fight. Huh, this looks familiar. That's right, once you get him back down to this area, he's gonna summon the wild hunt dogs again. So just use the same techniques I told you about before, and you'll have nothing to worry about. As you can tell, I didn't have any health or any way to heal or nothing. I had my thunderbolt potions and my wit. But, as you can tell, I probably got through this, otherwise I wouldn't be sharing. Why do I want you to see me die over and over? That's what Bloodborne's for. And that is that. That is the final time he will use his shield. Once you take out this wild animal, he will come out of there. And it is nothing but you, Kira, and the Thrall. So just use those same strategies I've been talking about, and the fight will be yours. I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep watching. I have lots of Witcher content inbound.
be sure to like and subscribe for new content through the week. You can also keep up with my nonsense through the following social pages. Want to become a patron? Donations are accepted, but not required. Until next time.